What's going on, guys? Welcome to a uh, little change in pace, a little change of pace, a little Lorwyn draft, Lorwyn flashback draft, uh, sponsored by Kerwit yesterday, I believe. And make sure that's correct. Yeah, it was Kerwit. Yeah, so hopefully he'll see this on the YouTubes when it goes up. And now we get to remember how to draft Lorwyn and figure out all of the broken strategies. Uh, I should have just looked at the cards first because it's been like 10 years since I've drafted Lorwyn. Um, I'm pretty sure Lissalana Huntmaster is pretty insane. So we're probably taking that. Uh, Sentry Oak, just a 3-5. It's just you clash or it's a counterspell. Nova Chaser is uh, the elemental champion card. This is pretty good. Um, I'm pretty sure Lissalana Huntmaster is pretty insane. And no. Kill Leaf Ambush is okay. You create two one ones. Uh, and they get death touch if you win the flip. Makeshift mannequin's cool. Crib swap's pretty good. What is the elf color though? Is it green? Or or is it uh black or is it white? I think it's black. I think the black green deck is the elf deck. I'm pretty sure I just want the Guilt Leaf Ambush, especially because it has it triggers Listen on a Huntmaster. I like Crib Swap a lot, but uh, you are an elf shaman. Avian changeling, very, very good. Very, very good. 10-2 is basically like a baby Yargle. Yeah, you're right. This guy was insane against the goblin deck, or if you were playing goblins in your deck, because then you're just gaining two every turn. And it has Swamp Walk, which is an ability you do not see very much. I'll take the Guilt Leaf Seer. I don't think it's the best pick in that pack, but it might be the best pick for us. You also want as many Lissalana Hunt Masters as you can get. Lignify is an option. Weed Strangle is great. If you win, gain Lengthy Little Toughness. Yeah, that's pretty good. I think it's just going to be Weed Strangle here. That should do a good job of Figuring out our second color. Vivid lands are chef's kiss. <laughs> okay, that's funny because of the way you said that. Oh boy, we have a good time. I actually don't love the art in Lorwyn. I don't think it's bad. It's just not my not my style. I think it's a little too cartoony. But I can appreciate it, right? Like I can understand why it was cartoony. I think it's perfect for the set. I for me, I just I I'm not I'm not all about it. Oh, Elvish Harbinger, eh? Let's see. That's pretty good. Uh, Mornwell gets very unlikely. You'll be casting it for seven, so you're usually getting a discard two for four. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Elvish Harbinger here. Did we open Lyra? Negative. Weed Strangle number dose. I'll take that. Two Weed Strangles? Yes, please. Lauren Art is very busy. You're right. That's actually a good way of putting it. There's a lot of things going on in the Lauren Art. What set has my favorite art? Ooh, that's a good question. Would you say the art direction was a win for the lore? Oh my god, Jesus, John. <laughs> Why are you the way that you are? 
Lorwyn Draft is all about tribes. You pick tribes, and then those tribes fall into different color archetypes. So, like, elves is green-black. Tree folk is also green-black or green-white. Um, goblins is red-black. So, stuff like that. Oh, Leaf, Leaf Gilder is great. I would like to pick up a Moon Glove, Moon Glove Winnower at some point, but I like Leaf Gilder a lot. Well, I just picked it twice, so. Okay, there we go. Third time's a charm. I don't know. My favorite art. It's hard to say. I'd have to look to recent sets and be like, let me figure out where my most recent art is. Where my most recent favorite art is. Eh, this guy's actually fine. It blocks the fairy guys. There's a bug right in my face. That was probably super loud, so I apologize for that. I literally just smacked the microphone, uh, like, arm. Sorry guys, the bug literally landed on it. Was very, it was very one of the like it was if they it landed on my face and I just hit myself in the face. Very similar. Oh, another guilt leaf ambush deal. Oh, Gaddock Teague, huh? Okay, well. This is a uh, a Phantom Draft, so we're not keeping any of these, so. None of these cards are very good. Hey, got a Morn Wilk back. <clears throat> Not great, but might be playable. Oh yeah, Planeswalkers are rare in this set. That is a good point. <coughs> Excuse me. Dread. Ooh, Dread is pretty good. Hunter of Eye Blight's also pretty okay. Elvish Branch Walker is utterly insane in the elf deck. It's also a common. Yeah, I'm going to take the Dread. Dread is bonkers in this format. I would not mind getting Changeling Titan uh, or Elvish Branch Walker or Hunter of Eye Blight's back, but I do not see any of those happening. Incremental growth is, oh my god, just utterly insane. Also utterly insane. So we're going to take incremental growth because that's going to win us games. Put a 1-1 one, one on a creature. Put two 1-1s one, on a creature and three 1-1s one, on another creature. It's basically overrun forever. Strawberry fields. Forever. Incremental growth forever. Uh, well, Lissalana Scarblade is actually not that great. Three mana for a 1 1. Discard an elf. The target creature gets negative where X is the number of elves you control. So, like, you actually have to have an abundance of elves in your hand, no less, in order to actually utilize this effectively, which is really obnoxious. I think it's just 
Fog Strider Ash. Actually, this might be fine. No, I like the Swamp Walker better. We can actually just play this guy in main deck and it's totally fine. All creatures able to block. Uh, Scarred Vineburger is actually pretty good. Oh, this guy's basically like a... Yeah, I'm going to take the Scarred Vine Breeder, though. We need more two drops, and this guy just pumps really well. Elvish Promenade? Ooh... And another Lissal on a Huntmaster, and another Leaf Gilder. Oh boy. Oh boy. I think we're less likely to get another Lissal on a Huntmaster, despite the fact that it's very, very good. I think we just want the Elvish Promenade here. Why would I force Kithkin when I can actually have a pretty reasonable elf deck going on here? What's wrong with you? Come on, Josh. Yeah, I don't think Promenade would wheel. That seems a little that seems a little ambitious. Um Josh, I saw your Jeskai Super Spells deck. I was wondering if it if you felt like it was too close to the deck that I played. Because I feel like it's gotta be less than like ten cards different. Quacker, take it easy, buddy. Have a good afternoon. I think our deck looks pretty good right now. Uh, I don't think Warren Scourge Elf is main deckable, unfortunately. It is sideboardable, though. We can bring that guy in against the Goblin deck. What are you doing against that dude? <clears throat> Eyes of the Wizent. More like Wise of the Eisent. It's totally up to you. Like I said, I mean, like it's your it's uh, it's your choice. I will play whatever you want to want to submit. I just wanted to make sure it wasn't like too close to my own deck because I feel like I might try to make it closer to my version just because, uh, un you know, unintentionally, just because that's what I'm I've been used to. Um, hmm. Uh, no thoughts right now. No, I haven't. I haven't looked at it that much. Uh, probably it's probably fertile ground here. It also lets us splash along with Elvish Harbinger in case we have something we really want. There's a Nats Elite in case we want it. I don't know if we do. But could be good. We have a lot of ramps, so. This guy actually gets insane in the giant deck, but not great for us. I'll take another Fertile Ground. We're going to be ramping all day, boah. Eh, I'll take Pump Spell. Oh yeah, Natsali is great. It's like a, it's a built-in lure. Like it's a four-three, five-three potentially. Squirrelmonger, what's your question, buddy? Somebody downloading apps today before I goes to Twitch. I don't. I I didn't. I don't think the desktop app is good. I don't. I I've never used. I downloaded the Twitch desktop app because I thought it was. I think I thought it was something else. I think I thought it was a way for me to control my Twitch stream from the desktop, uh, from like an app, which I prefer rather than browser-based. But it is not. So, um, I guess that doesn't answer the question because as a streamer, personally, I didn't find use in it, but as a viewer, it might be better. I don't know. Uh, none of these cards are great.
Oh, wow. The Lost Scarblade came back. Sure. <clears throat> All right, this deck's looking pretty okay. I'm okay with it. Oh, I hate the saying, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. That's like one of my least favorite sayings ever. Just because that like, that's literally, um, it's like the antithesis of progress, right? Like it says you only fix, you only make things better when they're not doing, they're at, you know, when they're not performing uh, to standard. And I think that's, I think that's lazy. I think progress happens when you change the, oh, a Briarhorn and a Primal Command. Oh, Briarhorn is OP. Um, so we're probably not playing Lair Watch Giant. Sorry, bra. Um, yeah, pretty sure it's just 100% Briarhorn here. Briarhorn is insane. And we'll get one more Lissalana Huntmaster in this pack, guaranteed. Yeah, because if we find like a nameless inversion, we can actually get it with. Uh... We don't have a True Folk Harbinger, we have an Elvish Harbinger. I'm pretty sure that's what you meant. I don't think change for the sake of change is inherently good. I think change for the sake of improvement is good. And I think um, things can always be improved, but you're not changing it to change it. Like, I'm not going to change the color of a keyboard from black to blue. That's just change for the sake of change without any inherent functionality improvement. But, I mean, all software changes, all software improves, right? Like, most 90%, I think... Well, and I wouldn't say ninety percent. I just made that statistic up on the spot. A lot of a lot of changes to software occur because they're they're trying to improve, not because broken things need to be fixed, but because new features need to be implemented. So, like, you know, it, my point is just that um, another list on a hunt master is really good for us. <laughs> Briarhorn is insane. Primal Command is great, but I mean, Briarhorn just ends games. This guy's probably sideboarded. Triple Huntmaster is pretty good. Yeah, I was hoping we get one. Now we got three. Oh boy, Immaculate Magistrate. <laughs> yes, please. Oh boy, this deck is looking spicy, boy. So our, our first four picks in this pack have been uh, Briarhorn, Lissalana, Lissalana, Magistrate. Jeez. I also like having three of these. Uh, Leaf, Leaf Gilder, and Double Fertile Ground because I really want to ramp to this four spot. <laughs> okay, Elvish Branch Brender is exactly what we want now. Uh, till the end of the turn, target force becomes an XX Tree Folk in addition to its other types for X is the number of elves you control. This guy's good, but we don't have Kithkins. Uh, it does make a bunch of Kithkins. But I'd rather just have the elf guy. Okay. Now it's not even... Oh, Guilt Leaf Palace. That actually seems great for us. Uh, Seed Gaddish dies. You search library for up to three forests to put them on the battlefield if you shuffle. This guy's actually really, really good. So is the other branch bender. I think I just want the Guilt Leaf Palace, though. Our deck is pretty much done. Both Guilt Leaf Ambushes are also creatures. So is Elvish Promenade. So that's, we're actually at about 16 creatures. Elves and tree folk living in sin, mass hysteria. Oh, another um, um, winnower or ambush? Probably ambush here. Yeah, none of these are super exciting. I'll just take the bog strider in case we face the uh, the aggressive black deck, the goblin deck. Oh, uh, none of these cards are super exciting. 
I'll take the Thorn Tooth Witch. I'm just going to take all these cards that make our uh <clears throat> that make our goblin matchup unbeatable. Yeah, all right. I mean, we have nothing else to to take over them, so it's fine. Is this triple guilt leaf ambush? Oof. Yeah, I'll take you. But Lenny, you. Could save the lives of millions of registered voters. I don't know, playing not Muldrifter in this set feels pretty loose. I agree with you. I'm not really thrilled about it, but... Oh, I think I'm okay with not keeping any of these cards. These cards are not really worth that much. Wow, Elvish Branchbender number dose. Um, that might be better than Guilt Leaf Ambush number two. Actually, it's probably better than Guilt... Guilt Leaf Ambush is probably better than Guilt Leaf Seer because we want elves and elves in numbers. I have your stream up twice now. You are echoing. So just, okay, fair. Like, we don't have to do anything to this. Actually, we have to make one cut down. Oh, Blades of Velis. Yeah, sure, obviously. Yep, done. 11-5. I'll go 9-7. Just because we want triple black, double black, double black. So. Which is actually 10-8, I believe. Yeah, I downloaded it. I opened the Twitch app and I was just like, what's the point of this? What am I using this for? And the answer was nothing. So good luck with your elf deck. I'm pretty sure you'll crush it. I think everyone got their Dominator Pearly stuff according to the tracking. I hope you don't have it. Brian, thanks so much, man. Really appreciate it. Take it easy, buddy. And I will talk to you later, I'm sure. Thank you so much, dude. You are awesome. This hand seems good. It's good. It's good. We're just hoping to dodge the pepper smoke, I guess, because... Uh... Because we got the X one here. I will keep. Look at all these swamps we got. Oh, is this the mirror match? I'm actually going to play Fertile Ground here because if we do draw Lissal on a Huntmaster, I'd rather have another elf to trigger. Plus, if they do have Pepper Smoke, this guy just dies. But Don't be Lissal on a Huntmaster, me bro. All right, a ghostly changeling. That's a good dude. All right, four drop. Four drop, that's not Elvish Promenade. Okay, that's neither of the things I asked for, but you know what? Sure. That's a good old brunch bender.
Wow. That's pretty rude. Guess we figured out who got the primal command. Why are you gonna go and make brunch so complicated? No. I'm gonna get in there. We're not gonna make a 2 2, so. Next turn, we may make a 3 3, depending on what we draw. Lissalana. I'm gonna go land, then Lissalana Huntmaster. Man, I thought our deck was great, and then we draw pretty poorly, to be fair. Man, Primal Command against Fertile Ground, OP. Yeah, I'll block this guy. That was a good deal. Wow, Ghostly Changing is OP. I don't know why you'd... Why would you let me block that? How many Lissalana Huntmasters are in this draft? Uh, I imagine a lot, but no, I mean, they, they might not just not be in the same draft. They could have been in their own draft. They could just happen to open Primal Command. Seasons don't fear the Reaper. Now do the wind. Why is this song stuck, man? I don't know. Don't be a land. Cool. <laughs> Sweet. Seven lands, five spells. And here I thought we had the Nuts Elf deck. Guilty Fanbush, make three guys. Ah, oh, so they're 1-1. One, one. Okay, so this is their third round. Okay, okay. I mean, if they get Leaf Ambush, I'm pretty sure we're dead here, but. <laughs> Come on, baby. Hmm. Bottom. Oh, they're drawing a swamp, but they, they get to put it on the bottom, so that's pretty sad. <laughs> Dr. Funkburger, MD, what are you talking about? This is Dominaria. Yeah, this is pretty bad, because even if we draw one of our engine cards, like Alyssa on a Huntmaster, we still are way behind. Because then we don't have any other elves to... That was actually probably one of the better draws we could have had. Come on, baby. Elvish Harbinger. Man, their draws are fantastic. Why you gotta be so rude? I actually hate that song. Oh, that song is the worst, man. Oh, this Lana Huntmaster again. So you search for two of them, just to be clear. Seems good.
that's pretty sweetums. We know you have this on top, so that's good. We can wait and... And we got good mana here. Got that good mana. Two years that song's been stuck in my... It doesn't even make any sense. He's like, why do you have to be so cruel? And then he's like, I'm going to marry her anyway. Like, w doesn't she clearly hate you? I get the impression she doesn't actually like you from the song. Oh, they, they reveal the guilt. We really have to swamp. Okay, so no death touch for us. I guess we're just trading with the bottom. I imagine they put they leave the card on top. Seems good. Boom, 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 boom. Gonna block your dude. I guess we're just trading lands for actual spells at this point. Can I get a guy? That's good. Maybe a dread? Weed strangle. Oh, we didn't keep a forest up. We're so bad at this game. Yeah, it's whatever. All right. Did we win the clash? No, because we knew what you had on top. Either way, we get to put that on the bottom. I always forget that this is forest. I always want to keep up the... The song is about not having the approval of the female's follow. Oh, interesting. I didn't know that. Okay. I don't think it's better now, but that's still bad. Oh, wow. Okay. So, see, you guys understood a whole different aspect. I never get, I never heard it. I guess I never heard. Oh, my God. So, that was just in your hand? Good Lord. Ah, oh, okay. So, I just didn't get the song then. It's all making sense now. This is the third land in a row. Keep in mind, we put two to the bottom. And we're just going to keep playing them because Elvish Branchbender. Oh, it's already in my head, buddy. It's already in my head. As a doctor, do you have any advice on how to get us out of my head? I feel like I need a haircut again. My hair gets really long and then I don't like it. Whatever. I guess we can keep that on top. I don't know if this is any good at this point. Like, we're just kind of overwhelmed here. What's your argument for a cluster truck? Gone home. High hell, I hope, or Titan Souls. I think these are games, and the only one I've heard of is Gone Home. Oh, Rapper's Delight seems like a legit choice. I'm okay with this. Are we ready to alpha yet? Uh-oh. Why 
gonna be so cruel I'm gonna marry her in a way Marry that girl Marry her in a way It's hard to believe we're not still dead here But I guess You gotta do what you gotta do Block you, block you, block you, block you, block you. So we take six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, that's fine. We got three. Seems legit. What could possibly go wrong? Wow, your deck is insane. How are you 1-1? One, one? What did you lose to? Land. Yeah, that's not going to do it. All right. All right, Reach Guy comes in. Where's old Reachy boy? Reachy Cunningham. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, that's a, that's a funny meme. That's a spicy meme ball. Uh, our deck seems good, but we just didn't really take this little on blade out of here. Knees, knees. That's how that song goes. I think we're just good. <clears throat> I think we're good. Good. I will play first. Fingers crossed for no uh, primal, primal, primal command, huh? Yeah, you're not a good person, Dr. Funkenberger. Oh, that's a good one. The nice part about their deck is we didn't see much removal, so I think most of our guys are going to stick. Uh, all videos go on YouTube, buddy. You nerd. You Dr. Funkin' nerd. Got him. Oh, Lissalana Buttmaster. Give me my own Lissalana. I have three of them in the deck for crying out loud. For crying out loud. Yeah, unless I drop early, because like I don't want to put those up. That seems bad. But even the losing, like if I have a losing record and I, I we still play it out, we'll still, still go on the YouTubes. Yeah, so this guy's putting three counters on, on each dude. This guy just wins the game if you don't have removal for him. Sorry to say. Sorry to tell you, buddy. Here comes Primal Command. Greetings from Great Yuslav. First time I've taken... I'm just saying, you're the Pied Piper gets the pepper smokes. Oh my god. Yep, obviously. Every time. Never fails. Oh, wait. Keep on top, definitely. <laughs> Definitely keep you on top. And I assume you put this on the bottom. Yep. And you search for that, sure.
Yep, that's pretty good. <clears throat> pretty good. Yeah, this card is bonkers. I don't even know how this is a real card. <laughs> oh, you might be a little too late here. You cannot win combat when this is on the board. And next turn we're making a 5-5 five, five, uh, tree folk as well. Alright, so you have Guilt Leaf Ambush, clearly. Well, this is just a better card to play now. Hope we win the clash. Yep, make an elf. Make a cruddy elf. A dirty little elf. Oh, come on. God, this is ridiculous. Our deck is all five and six drops. Sure. Whatever, we have longevity here. We'll deal with it. All right, take nine. Go to two. Seems good. Yeah, when Borsh is on a bagel, you can have no unity unless you report on Desirables to KGB. Yes, that's correct. That's, uh, I believe that's accurate. I almost want to take the Fertile Grounds out just to give them less of a thing to do. I also kind of like Hunt down here. Let's take Fertile Ground out for Hunt. Does it draw a card? Ugh, God, it doesn't even draw us a card. Blech. This is like fighting before fighting was was cool. We have like no tree folk, right? Like not not in the deck anyway. So Thorn Thorn Tooth Witch is utterly insane in the tree folk deck, but I'm just going to add more elves and take out more fertile grounds. I think it's fine. I mean, if they're just going to fertile ground our guy every turn, or our, if they're going to primal command our fertile ground land every single game, it seems bad. This hand also doesn't seem great. And, of course, this hand seems worse, but I'll keep it in the hopes of hitting lands because that's all we know how to do. And hopefully we'll be okay. <clears throat> sand is good if we can hit land 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 <laughs> alright we're on the right track here also guilt leaf seer helps us out with that it's like scry without scry you wanna be so cruel no matter who in a way no matter that good So I'm probably going to look at the top two and then find a land. Oh my god, every game. I think I have yet to actually cast one of these and actually profit from it. Of 
great. Great. Fantastic. Oh, must be great not having to worry about drawing your best cards and lands to play them. Yep, no blocks. And the worst part is we know the other dude is on top. So, like... We could actually guilty fanbush uh, as an instant during our upkeep to put it on the bottom. <laughs> Seriously? Cool. <laughs> Like, not even going to waste my time. <laughs> Bunch of bullshit. Oh, let me kill your land. You're clearly stuck on lands. Cool. Yep, deck seems great, but draws seem subpar. All right, we'll keep this hand. Yeah, see, if I can have hands like this last game, it'd be great, because now Elvish Harbinger gets us like an elf and a mana. Yeah, this is so much different. Not even close. Actually, it's probably Magistrate. <laughs> Oh, what up, Case? I saw you creeping. Fallow Sage is pretty good. Oh, wow. That's a good draw. Savannah Lions. Thank you so much for the donate the bits. Really appreciate it, buddy. This is where this guy gets countered by Wizard's Ruse or whatever. There you go. Sure. Uh, did we win the cra the clash? No, but we didn't lose it either. I'll put that at the bottom. <clears throat> We're at a point where I just want land so I can play this dread. Our hand is full on gas at this point. I'm pretty sure this is unbeatable if it doesn't die. One, two, three, four. We had plus six, plus six, plus eight, plus eight. Eight counters on something? That's stupid. That's not even a real card. Yeah, I see no reason to actually change here. Why well, you gonna be so rude? Wow, Dr. Funkenberger, you have no soul, my friend. Yeah, sand seems good. 
and we don't have to worry about uh, Primal Command on our Fertile Ground every single game. Oof. That's pretty good. Turn 3, turn 4, turn 5, both of these. Yeah, this is... Oh, we know they have Fairy's Trickery, though. Yeah, I imagine it's... This is not going to resolve, unfortunately, but... We do have a second one, so... Meh. Counter both? Oh, of course you do. Here we go again. Oh, boy. Definitely not clicking that link. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, I'm definitely not clicking the Mentos theme. You are a monster. Gonna get miss 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 buy and click, like you do. Scion of Una. Hmm. That card is insane. Yep, no blocks. That card is utterly broken against us, unfortunately. Well, why you wanna be so? One, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, we just play dread here. We can't, we don't have three black, so. Never mind. Keep on rolling. It's on the game. Yep, go to nine. Oh, Widwin. Good lord. Swamp. I want to put you on the bottom. We do need you for Dread, but I'd rather just have some gas at this point. So they have one card in hand? Weed Strangle is perfect. I will keep that. And hope your last card is not removal. One, two, three, four, five. You can also promenade here. Oh, come on. All right. How is it that every opponent we face so far has had everything they need every single time? Is there an explanation for that? I don't think so. Meh.
It's okay. Sometimes you just get all three counter spells in your hand. Oh boy. What the hell? <laughs> Elvish Promenade for one. It's pretty bad. I guess we'll just pass here and hope that we don't draw all lands. Yeah, it's obviously for Island Walk, but, like, it still seems bad. It's almost like a mulligan. Yep, all right. This is exactly how we drew it up. Didn't attack there? I don't know. I don't care anymore. <laughs> you can really... I think I think it's really obvious when uh, when I've lost the will to play at a certain point. Yep, another land. Okay, cool. I mean, we're almost at a point where we just want Elvish Promenade. Put one counter on your guy. Two and three counters on our own guys. Ah, oh, boy. I was really looking forward to the game where I can get everything in under your counter spells, but then we didn't draw anything but lands for 25 turns, so... This is where you play Widwin. And we just get blown out. Yep. Oh, you're just going to get Widwin. Seems good. So Woodman's like, what, pay two and return it to your hand? So I literally am just dead to that. I literally can't do anything about that without the flyer. How did this... I thought this deck seemed insane. Spell Stutter Sprite. Fascinating. I guess this is what happens when you only draw literally one creature in 12 cards. Which makes sense. Seems like a logical logical course of action. Alright, so we have at least two counter spells in hand, so that's cool. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five. Get get busy strangling. Well, I'll counter this. No, sir. Sure. Oh, that's cool, because now we can actually branch bender, and then they just counter that, too. Oh, my. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Good times. Always a pleasure, Magic. In before second spell stutter sprite. Yeah. All right. We had a good run. 
The old one too. Fantastic. This deck is great. Let's take out a land and put something else in. I don't know why. Eh, put this guy in. Sure. Maybe we got too many lands. I don't know. Magic's hard. Guess we're trying to salvage the old one, too. So first deck managed to out elf us, which is pretty impressive considering our deck. Uh, second deck managed to uh, just literally counter everything. Thanks for being on time today. It's four o'clock. How would you even know? Ah, <sighs> boy. There's no one in as losing a bracket as I am right now, so they're, they're having a hard time finding me uh, an opponent, unfortunately. Yeah, the old you're still playing? All right, I guess we'll find a match for you. A classic. You take my life and it's in there it's in there now buddy you've done it you fire a musket and I'll run you through the burner let's get a hunt master here oh you like how I didn't play the fertile ground first God, I'm so bad at this game fertile ground into this guy let's just play hunt master and elvish branch mass branch mat branch bender next turn I am not we we caught it seconds after the clicks oh boy all right, um, let's grab Huntmaster, I guess. This guy could be insane. Five, six, yeah, that's pretty brutal. So bad. Now if they mana leak us, it's our own fault. Josh, you're up, Frank. At least you get to keep these. At least you don't get to keep these cards. Oh, good, a thought weft trio. Fantastic. Wait, what? I like that it was like, choose a land to put this on. 
And then it's like, choose a color to make. And then it's like, what were you going to do? I totally forgot. Yeah, you got, you got to recast it, buddy. I'm sorry. Actually, maybe we just keep up Briar Elf. Briar Horn. Briar Health. Uh, can, can block any number of dudes. First Strike Vigilance. Sure. We'll just pass. They'll know the, they'll know where the trick the jig is up. We got this guy. But if they don't attack, that's fine too. Because next turn we can make a dude. Make a little dude. When it enters the battlefield at the top, sure. The pre-combat Ink Fathom Divers. Blast. Uh, CTB, that's because these are not cars. These are cards. So uh, that's probably where the, the confusion comes from. You buy a musket, but I'll run you. Th oh, God, I was stupid idiot. Oh, this is not my day. Oh, you guys are just watching me flounder here. It's not even fun anymore, I imagine. I'm probably going to have to... I'm probably going to have to re, 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 uh, regroup here, as you'd say in the corporate world after this. Oh, my God. Magic Online, you are my worst enemy today. All right, hold on. <sighs> okay. We can fix this. Land. Green. All right, we're just going to do it this turn instead. Not a big deal. It's okay. Post-combat Briarhorn? Probably not, probably not ever doing that. Briarhorn is still good enough to win the game on its own, so that's fine. They're probably like, did they just forget to... Now we're just hoping they'll have a trick, right? That's all. No trick. Oh, counter it. And then we're just like, well, great. God, they were tapped out and everything. It would have been perfect. We would have been at 16. They would have had a 2-2 on the board. We would have had a Briar Horn, and we could have played another dude this turn. Don't you have a trick? Oh, my God. What the shit is this? I'm going to vomit. Actually throwing up right now. This is just... This is an, this is an embarrassment. I apologize to everyone. Mistakes have been made. Always yes to this guy. At no point will I ever say no to this guy. We're going to keep this guy in hand so we can use uh, Lissalana's ability. All right, we're still in it. We're still doing it. Wow. Aggressive attacks here. For each other attacking Kithkin. So it's a 2-2. Two, two. Otherwise, we take 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We can actually chump block here. doesn't have trample, right? Which means we have to just block it next turn. It'll be a 1-1. One, one. Oh, boy. There's a moment. You can tell the moment where everything went to shit. It was the moment where we didn't actually Briarhorn and we missed one click. It was one click too many. We clicked right on through to the attack step. One click. And your whole Magic Online matches. Who's having a good time? Everyone. I 
I guess we take five and die to purity, right? <laughs> I mean, even if we have to let if we if we let one of these guys through, even the two two, we still die to purity. So. I don't understand how this game got out of control. I'm trying to figure it out. Oh, Lord. Times are hard, guys. Times are hard. All right. It's okay. It's okay. We'll get through it. Keep. It's okay. It's okay. We'll get through this together, guys. It's an adventure. It's a Lorwyn adventure. Music, man, don't worry. We're all having a good time. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know about that. I appreciate it. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. You are awesome. The sadness is a real, though. See, I like having this on board for things like Branch Walker, Branch Bender, whatever. But I also like uh, having it in hand because we have three Alyssalana Hunt Masters. So I'm actually just going to play this. I'm having a time of some sort. It's hard to confirm or deny which type of which type of time it is, but it 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 is indeed a time. We will confirm that much. Lands are cool. One, two, three, four. So this is a this is a gentleman next turn. We get to play a little dread next turn. I'm sure they'll neck snap it or counter it or some nonsense. But well, you know, we'll have a good time in the process. You don't want to attack into my my old leaf gilder? I don't care. Add add whatever color you want to this thing. All I know is that we're casting Dread for the first time in eight matches. Seems good. Looking back, we'll all be happy it's over and we'll never have to experience... See, it's funny because I'm reluctant to put uh, videos like this on YouTube when they have deliberate... Not deliberate, but like um, overt misplays, like the ones we've made, like the Briarhorn play or whatever, but um, I think the first two matches were such beatings that you really can make an argument that it wasn't entirely within my control. For other situations. Oh, that, that, that Briarhorn misclick was completely my fault. Let's see if you want to snap a neck here. This guy's got fear too. This neck is getting so snapped. Oh, his neck is his neck is intact. His that's I guess it's because he has no neck. I don't know what Magic Aids is, but that sounds like a pretty terrible name. <laughs> so that might be why. I don't know. I'm just going to take this. There's no way you're attacking with your 2-2 and then not doing some shenanigans. Oh, all right. There you go. Well, these guys are dying anyway, so I'll take seven and they'll die. Those guys just just went to the trash can. Put your guys in the garbage. What did we hit? What did you hit? 
Familiar's ruse again? Oh, not this old chestnut. Do I care about this guy? Not really. You can leave and never come back, I guess. What, they put it on top? They put it on the bottom. They were like, mm -mm, this is not going to do it. And I, I largely agree with them. It will not do it. These are all my Thank gentlemen. Juposhi, I'm back after living on a series of couches and living in my own stench. Oh, man, does the sight of you do it? Dude, I literally just asked about it yesterday. I was like, where's Juposhi been, man? That's hilarious. Oh, mine is bigger. Mine is bigger. It's not the size of your clash. It's uh, how your opponent denies you the ability to cast it due to counter spells and destroying your lands. Really, that's the that's the point. How is his name ironic? What's the irony to the name? It just sounds like a name. Uh, do you like the Clash better as a mechanic or as a band? Uh, I've never taken my car to the Clash, so I couldn't say. But uh, I think the Clash as a band is fine. Uh, I don't think they're as good as like the Ramones. But, you know, I think that's the whole, you know, UK versus American uh, punk rock debacle. And I, I don't know if we should get into that here. I don't think we're... God, this card is just keepable. I, I'm going to keep this hand by it. This card is just... Pff, pff. Come on, give me one of them two mana. Give me one of them old-timey old two mana ramp spells. Pff, thank you. That's what we're talking about. I don't think that's ironic. I think that's just a, that's just a homonym. Or a synonym, rather, not a homonym. You can go on here. Is it a homonym? It is a homonym. That was right. Okay, so there's a lot of there's a lot of dudes. Yeah, it's a homonym. I was correct. I was right the first time. All right, so next turn, we just got to survive one more turn and then we get to play both of these dudes. One, two, three, four. No, we don't. But we get to play one of them and it's going to be a 4-4 four, four, and that's pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. I'm not going to block either of those idiots. <gasps> oh, sometimes you just hit that perfect draw. Oh my god. Here we go. Don't have a merfolk in your hand. That'd be so weird. One merfolk equals one fairy's familiar's ruse. Yes. Alright, we're off familiar's ruse. We can get it. We can do it. I will keep the other one on top as well. Immaculate Magistrate is not a real card, as the kids say. I will block. I will make it a 5-5. Five, five. 
All right. This guy's a 5-5 five five then. Seems good. Seems pretty broken. Bend them branches. All right, and that's the end of that. So 40 play points in the book. Um, yeah, those, those matches are pretty horrendous, all of them. Um, I don't know. I don't know what to say about that. Lorwyn's a good format, though. It's pretty fun, uh, as long as you can get the synergies. The problem is it reminds me very much of Ixalan, where if you don't get the tribal synergies in your deck, uh, your deck is actually terrible. Um, the decks that have the best tribal synergies, I think our deck was one of them. Well, yeah, we did we did lose our matches 1-2. Um, you know, if you don't have those tribal synergies, your deck usually ends up being pretty bad. Either way, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much uh, for the support. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I'll see you next time.